is up ladies and gentlemen, it's the Kitty here and welcome back to another one of my videos and on today's video it's Frag Pro Shooter and in particular we're going to be taking a look at the new buff that's been bestowed upon Fidelio. Now Fidelio, in my opinion, prior to this buff was one of the worst in the game and you know I think most people would agree to that but how good is he going to be now that he's been buffed and when he's, I say he's been buffed he's had a 40% increase in fire rate, he's had a 12% increase in health, and his turret has had a 70% increase in fire rate also. So that means he should be very, very, very good indeed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Fidelio and this ragtag bunch of misfits that... In just these three games that we do, we're going to do the Street Frag Payload and the normal game... And see, put him through his paces with that immense fire rate boost that he's got and that bit of hit points. Plus, it just happens to be, it's just a coincidence they've all got frag powers on this deck. But Fidelio has got, I've got one of his frag powers. I've got the most important frag power, which is a damage increase. 20% damage increase for all damage. So he's got that and the 40% fire rate increase and the the turret 70% fire rate increase. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and be Fidelio as much as I can. Basically, as long as he's alive, I'll be Fidelio. And the rest of the guys I put in there, Queen Unicorn, and Scrapper, and Cactarina, and Lucha Moitra, just to help me out in the games. It doesn't really matter too much if we win or lose. It's all about seeing how good Fidelio performs in these games. So it's a little bit like a spotlight video, if you will, which I haven't done in many a moon. Anyway, before I, and actually before we do the games, if you want to just subscribe if you haven't already and click that bell notification, that'd be amazing. Let's go in and do those games and see how we get on. Here we are with the first game versus level 10. It seems like absolutely everybody on this game has got Zap Girl, as using Zap Girl even. Uh, didn't mean to do that, wrong person. Fidelio, here we go Fidelio, what are you doing up there? Come on, let's get in on the action. Put the turret down. There we go. 70%. Oh, it's really quick. Go, go, go. Oh, look at that. Immense. Let's get out the turret now. Let's see if we can push forward a little bit. That was nice. He's definitely better than he was. He definitely can kill really good. Uh-oh. Didn't really want that. No, oh, it took a while to, to aim. Took me a while to aim it, unfortunately. Now, we've got to wait for the respawn. But, we've got a lead, at least. And we have demonstrated that Fidelio is definitely... Definitely maybe not the weakest anymore. Let's try and defend. Let's get Fidelio back in. Here we go. Why is he just spawn? And that maybe I think that's a bug. That he spawns... He spawns inside. Right, where are they? Where are they at? Need to get somehow get that. I'm gonna have to go a different way because I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna try and zap girl me. I'm not gonna have it. No zap girl. Come on, it's not working. It's not hitting. It's not hitting. Oh, at least we got her in the end. I did not think it was gonna work. It's, the aim was off or something. Maybe it's a, a work in progress, maybe. Just go to scrap for a little bit minutes while we while we wait. Just looks like he's just gonna keep on keep on running Zap Girl, I think, by the looks of things. Okay, Fidelio. You're that is definitely a bug. He just spawns and instantly goes inside. There we go. Instantly goes inside his turret when he respawns. They might have to fix that. But we're doing alright. We're healing. We're healing the base. We're healing the bunker. Now, can I do the damage on... Oh, no. What, did he kill? Did he kill the turret? That was really quick, killing the turret. I wanted to see whether or not the turret was going to do some damage on the... On the... On the bunkers, basically. Because if it does, then that'll be some super quick... We're sort of going back here. 
I don't know how he managed to survive that. Did we get him? No, we didn't get him. How is he how is he even hitting me right there? Okay, let's trying to get him. No, can't get him. That's okay, we're gonna still push forward with Fidelio. Where where are they? Where is everybody? Oh, he's in there. I can't seem to get him. I need to back away. Can't seem to back away either, unfortunately. Okay, let's go with... Scrapper. Scrapper. Right, we've got a kill. And we're in a base as well. We've got the win. It's a little bit of a clunky game. Very difficult to... To even demonstrate for Delia. I'm, I'm not sure. He's... There's a couple of things about him I think need fixing. They need to fix that that issue with him just spawning back into his turret whenever when he whenever he appears. But what's the point of that? Because he spawns back in his own base and just immediately goes in the turret. Okay, let's go in and have a go and see what he's like with with Street Frag. Could be interesting. I still need to try and see if I can get that turret working to see if the turret is does the damage. So we want to go. We want to go and sneak him round somehow. Do I sneak him round? I don't know. I'm going to sneak him round if I can. Uh oh. We don't want to get caught by the rabbit. Like a rabbit in the headlights. We're just sort of creeping round. Oh, he's got the zap girl. Come on. Come on. No. Didn't get the opportunity still to see if it does damage. I will. Sure. Let's go with Cactarina for a minute while we're waiting. Everybody's got a Zap Girl. No, cannot stop that Zap Girl. They just put that drone down and you just can't get it. Just basically can't get it. Now we need. Look, what's he done? He's done it again. Fidelia, what are you like? Right, we're going to have to try and creep round again. Watch out for the. Ronin. We're going to get zapped. We got zapped a little bit. Has he seen me? Come on. Is it doing it? It's doing some damage. It's definitely doing some damage. They're just looking at me, wondering what's happening. It's infinite ammo, so it's just infinitely taken in down. Oh, don't get me. No, it's not doing any difference. It's impervious. And has it got it? It's done it! Look at that! That was sneaky! I was, that, was, that was fun! That was a fun game! We just absolutely demolished that bunk, that base. Interesting stuff. Okay, let's go into the final game and we'll have a go at Payload. And here we are with the last game, Payload, and it's I'm pretty sure it's an AI game. We're gonna go in defense. Not I still the jury's still out with him. He's got some definitely some good stuff. Definitely stuff that makes him quite good. Come on. Okay, me versus Volcano. Oh, I couldn't quite get him. Oh, look at the speed. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, now I'm just sort of stuck waiting here now. Okay, let's come out of it. Oh, no. No, no, no! The AI with Medusa is just incredibly, incredibly dangerous. Super accurate. Let's go around this way. I thought I saw Medusa somewhere. So we're waiting for Fidelio to respawn. Get some long-range shooting going over. Can I get it? Can't seem to stop it, unfortunately. But we are in the lead anyway. And Fidelio must be back by now. Here's Fidelio. Okay, are we on defence? We're on defence right now. Oh no, don't go off the edge. Okay. Oh, he's hiding from me. Look. Can't see him. There we go. Tears a hole in him. Now we've got... Oh, I was just trying back, trying to get back into the turret, but it couldn't do it. Okay, let's go with Scrapper for a minute. 
So I've got I've got an opinion. I've got an opinion on him. There are some really good bits about him. He's definitely improved on what he was. But I've got to say, I still don't think he's doing that thing again. I still don't think he's quite good enough. I still think he seems to die a little bit too quick. There's something not quite not quite right. Good for defensive maneuvers. Let's see if I can get in here. Oh, I just... He's just so easily killed still. Definitely, I would still say he's not... You know, he's... He's still maybe average. I don't know if there's any way that you could... I don't know if, if any of the implants would make him... Make him worth... Worth considering. He's definitely not. He's definitely not in the meta, unfortunately. But we're pushing this home now, and that's my verdict. Basically, I still think. I still think he could do with a lot of improvement. Seems to die very quick. The, you know, when you if you get the chance to get in a turret and get the damage off, then all for all well and good. But overall, I'm not too impressed by him. Definitely not the worst frag anymore. Definitely not one of the worst fraggers anymore. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button because that would be super awesome. Shout out to my channel to Percy, Dominic Ant, Arrestus, Cannon Karras, and Wayne Innes Davison. And if you want to help grow this channel to 20,000 subscribers and beyond, make sure you share today's video and maybe check out one coming shortly. Bye for now.